So if you are following along with music, the playlist is called January or Jan 22 Hit Playlist. It starts with James Brown. Let's go ahead and press play in three, two, one. I'll leave that here this time. Starting off nice and tall, give me a couple shoulder rolls. Inhale those shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, open up that chest, slide those shoulders back. Up. And exhale. Two more. Last one. Good. Neck rolls. Inhaling your chin down towards your chest, over to one side. Exhaling back and around. Let's do two in each direction. Just warming this neck up. Waking up those muscles. Everything is connected. Starting to feel grounded in the feet. Noticing your weight distribution. Go ahead and lift your head up through center when you're done with that rotation. Arms out wide. Take a slightly wider step. Give me a cross. Start to warm up that body. Reach across the body with those fingers. Feel free to move the lower body while you're at it. We'll bring it overhead in three, two, one. Reach over. Yes. Good. For four, three. Two, one, cross it out. Good. Bring it overhead. In three, two, one, bring it overhead. We'll come to pause in three, two, one, hands come down by your side. We're gonna slowly go down into squat for four, three, two, one. Let's lift for four, three, two, one. Again, down, two, three, four, and lift. Two, three, four, high lift, two more. Good, thinking into those heels, making sure those knees are not coming in front of those toes. Let's go down and stay. Give me a little pulses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just a warm up. Four, three. We're going to go up and down in two, one. Lift up, go down, lift and lower. Good. For four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Give me a hip circle in one direction, a hip circle in the other. And then bring your feet together up onto one toe pad and then the other. Just prance it out a little. Good. Up on both toes and lower those heels. So we've got our first circuit. It's going to be three moves. We're going to do them three times. <clears throat> I'll show you the moves and then we'll get started. You need your chair. You're going to do tricep dips. So if you're sitting down, hands on either side of the chair, walk forward. Okay? Down and up. Option to do single leg and then switch halfway through. All right? Then we'll do some jumping jacks. Option to tap outside if you want it low intensity. And then we'll bring it down to the floor and do bridging. So your heels are on the middle of the feet. Hands come long. We roll it up, tap it down, lift and lower, okay? That's what we got. Let's start with tricep dips in three, two, one. Here we go. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Make sure your hands are in a spot where they're balanced. Lift up onto those heels. Toes are in the air. Elbows go straight back. 
belly is in, arms are the ones working. I'm gonna check you out. Shoulders away from the ears. Good, nice, Dina. Here we go, you got this, Joe. Good, Rush. I see you got your cheering squad with you today. You go, girl. Good. And pause. All right, next we've got jumping jacks. <laughs> and I lie, we're doing 45 seconds on 15 seconds off. So, <laughs> we're gonna start jumping jacks in three, two, one. Here we go. Remember, always option to tap outside if you want. Just make sure those hands are going. Good, almost there. Keep breathing. Elevating that heart rate. 10 seconds. You guys got this. Good. <laughs> I see you rush. Good job, Bob, and pause. All right, let's get ready for our bridging so we come down to the floor. Bring your feet up onto the chair. Move your bum close to the seat. Arms come long. We'll begin in three, two, one. Here we go. You got to lift and tap. Lift and tap. Now you want to make sure your hips are lifting at the same time and the same speed. So if you want, you can have your hands on your hip bones or if you need a little extra help getting that bum in the air, you can press into your arms on the ground to help you with the lift. I'm going to come check you out. You got this. 15 seconds. Good. Nice lift. I want that butt a little bit closer to the chair. Perfect, right there. For five. And pause. All right, come on up. Second set. We got our tricep dips. Let's begin. In three, two, one, here we go. I like to exhale on the extension of the arms. Remember, option to lift one leg up if you want, do a couple, and then other leg. Let me check you out. Good, you got this, Dina. Nice. Here we go, good, Bob. Keep pushing. Rush, I want you to push with those arms, not lift with that bum. And pause. Jumping jack next. We're going to begin in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice variation, Dina, loving it. Yeah, Liz, yeah, Jill. Shape in those muscles. Getting that cardiovascular health up. 10 seconds. Good. For three, two, and one. Bring it down. <laughs> Get ready for bridging. Coming down on the ground. Bum somewhat close to the chair. Feet in the center of the seat. Arms long. 
We're going to lift and lower those hips in three, two, one. Here we go. Go at your pace. If you want to give me like a half second pause at the top, that's okay too. Good. I'm going to come check you out. Keep going. Good. Better, Liz. You feeling that more in the glutes there? Nice, Joe. Good, Bob. Five seconds to go. Yes, Dina, that looks great. Yes, rock and pause. Bring it down. Roll yourself to the side. Lift yourself up. Last set of tricep dips. <clears throat> we'll begin in three, two, one. Here we go. So your bum should kind of stay weighted down low, right? And you're just bending in the arms and lifting. You don't have to bend a ton, right? I'm going down kind of far, but even just slightly, slight bend, you're going to get into those triceps. As long as your elbows point back and you're not lifting up through the bum, okay? Keep going. I'm going to check you out. <coughs> Good. You got this, Liz. Keep going. Last time. I see you keep breathing. Make sure you guys are exhaling on the push. Great rush, way better. <laughs> Daggers. For three, two, one. Come on down. Jumping jack. We'll begin in three, two, one. Here we go. Remember, always option to tap out to the side. 15 seconds. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. <laughs> All right. Last bridging set. Come down on the ground. Feet on the chair, arms long. We're going to lift and lower. Begin in three, two, one. You want to try to keep your knees in line with your glutes. I prefer feet flexed. If you like to extend your feet long when you lift your bum so that they're flat on the seat, that's up to you. As you lift, make sure you're not pushing that rib cage to flare open. You really want to squeeze through the glutes and feel it through the back body. 15 seconds, I'm going to come check you out. Good. Make sure those feet are also in line with those knees, knees in line with hips, and pause. All right, bring yourself up to standing. Circuit two. We got four moves. We're doing it two times. Okay, so four moves twice. <clears throat> this is where I'm going to use a slightly heavier weight. You choose you. First thing we're going to do is deadlift. So I'm going to do one heavy weight and hold it in between both hands. Feet are hip distance apart. We're going to hinge forward, sort of letting that Weight go down the shin, exhale, lift it up. Hinge forward, exhale, lift it up. Okay, that's our deadlift. Then we're going to do a half burpee. So you're going to put that down. Let me just move this. <clears throat> half burpee is if you're starting in like a, 
like a get like a fast beat stance. You're gonna come down, hop or step back, hop or step forward, lift up here. So hop, back, lift. Okay. Third one is we got double lunge. So I'm gonna use light weights or no weights. We're coming into second position, arms out. Come down into second position, over to single leg lunge, open, other side, okay? And then the last one, we'll come down to the mat, grab those ham weights, and we'll give us ourselves a Russian twist. Those are our moves. I'll let us know each time we do it. Let's begin with those deadlifts, so grab a weight in three, two, one. So slight bend in those knees, weight in the heels. Nice straight spine. Good. That butt goes back as your hands go straight down. Abs are pulled in. Good. Nice, Joe. Work in the back body here. Good. Yes, Dina. Make sure not to look down towards the feet. You want to kind of look towards the top of the mat when you're on your way down. Try to keep that head in line with your spine and pause. Good. Okay. Half burpees next. So go ahead and place those down. Get ready for our starting stance. Okay. So go down. Step back, come back, lift up. All right, again, in three, two, one. Here we go. Option to hop if you want. Or step it back. I'm gonna check you out. Good. You got this, Dina. Nice, Liz. Here we go. Good choices, Bob. 15 seconds. Remember, we're only doing this circuit two times. For five, four, three, two, and one. <clears throat> All right, grab your light hand weight. We're gonna start in our second position. Arms out wide, and then we'll come over to single leg lunge, and then other side. Okay? We'll begin in three, two, one. Here we go. Getting some hip mobility in there, working that shoulder girdle. Good. Check you out. Good. You guys got this lower body burn. Go as fast or slow as you need. Almost there, five seconds. And pause. Ooh, that one was a styling killer. Let's get down to the mat for a Russian twist. Option to hold those hand weights or not. I'll face you all so I can see you from here and do it with you. Let's begin in three, two, one. Here we go. <clears throat> Bring those weights from one side to the other. <clears throat> How fast you go is up to you. As long as you can keep both fist bones on the ground and sort of anchor it into the mat. If this is not challenging enough for you where you are today, feel free to lift one leg off the ground or both and keep twisting. Almost there, 15 seconds. Yes, we got this. Three, two, one, bring it down. All right, let's do that all over again, shall we? Let's get ready for deadlift.
Begin in three, two, one. Here we go. Remember, slight, slightest of bends in those knees. Weight is in the heels. Back is staying straight as a plank. We are not arching or rounding through that spine. Head is an extension of the spine. Abs are on. I'm gonna check you out. Good. Nice. Good job, everyone. And pause. Good. Go ahead and put that weight down. Let's get ready for our half burpees. We're going to begin in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. I'm going to check you out. Beautiful. Yes, Liz. Yes, Gina. Yeah, Joe. Here we go, Russ. Nice, Bob. 15 seconds. Good. And pause. All right, grab those light hand weights. We're going to do double leg lunge or squat to single leg lunge. Let's begin in three, two, one. As you go to that single leg lunge, you really want to rotate through the hip so that it's less of a rotation in the torso and more rotation in the hip, okay? But we are keeping those arms at shoulder height, weights or no weights. And check you out. Good. Okay, good, good. Good, Joe. When you guys are in second position, give me a little squat before you move over. To single leg lunge, five seconds. And pause. Last one of this circuit, rest and twist. Let's bring it down to the mat. Begin in three, two, one. Remember, feet can be on the ground or in the air. If they're on the ground, you might be able to pick up the pace a little bit. Try not to look totally down towards the stomach. You want the chin off of the chest. Option to always bring your legs into tabletop. Come on, you guys got this. Last time we're doing Russian twist. Liz, I want you to lean back just slightly. Yeah, girlfriend. Here we go. Yes, Dina. Yes, Joe. Joe, lean back slightly for me. Uh-huh. Dagger, send them to me. That's okay. Five seconds. Good, Bob. Here we go for three, two, and one. Pause. All right. Grab some water if you need. We have one more circuit. We're going to do three moves two times. Our moves are going to be wood chops, so grab either one heavy weight or your two lighter weights, whatever you have. Okay, feet are slightly wider. You're going to bring that weight over to one side. Exhale as you swing it diagonally up to a corner and that, that foot moves. Okay, just the one side. We'll then do the other side. All right, and then last one we've got our squat jumps. So we come down, come up and jump. Low intensity, come up onto those toes. Okay, so squat and come up onto those toes. So we've got our wood chop. 
one side then the other, and then our squat jumps. Let's begin in three, two, one. Control the lift and the lower. We don't want to pull anything or throw anything out. You don't have to go super low with that weight. Like it doesn't have to touch the ground when you lower it down. And check out your guys' form. Good. Nice. Nice, Liz. Good, Bob. That's great. Good. Dina, try not to bend at the elbows. You want the arms to stay straight the whole time. This is going to get it into the back body, okay? And pause. Other side. So when we're doing the wood shot, guys, we're coming down. Arms are straight the whole way up. All right? So it's kind of like, even if you're using two weights, it might be best to put one down. It doesn't have to be a super heavy weight and just put it between your hands. That helps you keep the move. Let's begin in three, two, one. Good. So much better, yes. I know we're getting tired, but give it your all. We're almost done with class. So much better, Dina. Yes, Joe, remember to twist in that hip. Good. Good. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead, put that weight down. We got squat jumps next. Begin in three, two, and one. Here we go. Option to hop up or come up on those toes. Squat back, up on the toes. If you're hopping, I do want you to still squat. Feel free to alternate between the two options if you need. Almost there, 15 seconds. Good. You guys got this, yes! 10 seconds. Three, two, and one, bring it down. Woo! All right, one more time through. That's it, now we're pulling it down. Go ahead and grab that weight or weight. Wood chopping. Let's begin in three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Ten seconds. You guys got this? For five, four, three, two, and one. Pause. <clears throat> Other side. I'm going a little bit into our cool down song. Don't let it fool you. Brush, you can stop. <laughs> Begin in three, two, one. Here we go. Good. 15 seconds. One more move after this, everyone. 
Five seconds to go. And bring it down. All right, give me some squat jumps. Last time. Begin in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. You guys got this. I'm here with you. Awesome to come up on those toes. Eliminate the jump. Good. Ten seconds. You got this. Keep going. And bring it down. All right, tap it side to side. Grab a sip of water. Arms up overhead. And bring it down. Again. And down. Good. Hook one arm up. You guys did amazing today. Those hip classes can sneak up on you. Bring that arm up and overhead. And down, other arm. Woo! Up overhead. Go ahead, release. Grab one foot behind the glute. Using your chair to balance if you need. Making sure those knees are in line with one another. Go ahead, put that foot down. Switch feet. We are at 30, so if you need to hop off, feel free. Make sure to hydrate. Bye, rest. I'm going to stretch for just a little couple seconds more. Go ahead, take a nice wide stance. Arms come out long. Inhale as you hinge forward with a straight spine. Exhale as you release those hands down to the mat, getting a nice stretch behind those hamstrings and releasing any tension in the low back, making sure your head's not completely dangling down, but looking towards your hands. We don't want any stars. Exhale your air out. Inhale, come into a squat, lift up through the hands. Good, exhale, straighten those legs and bring your hands back down. Take tock your feet back so that they're parallel in line with your hips. Inhale, come up halfway, extend your spine long. Exhale, refold, hands down towards the mat. Inhale, start to roll it all the way up. Head coming up last. And we're all set. Thank you guys so much.